Once you have the Excel Navigator Date Picker and Calendar installed in Microsoft Excel, you'll notice a new ribbon tab called Excel Navigator. On the left side of your screen, you'll see the Date Picker Calendar. You can move the calendar to the right side if you prefer, docking it on either side. If you want to save space, you can collapse it to the side. Additionally, clicking Toggle Side Panel in the Excel Navigator ribbon tab will completely hide the calendar, giving you more workspace. To bring it back, simply click Toggle Side Panel again. The calendar's width is adjustable up to 12 months. Use the slider control to expand or shrink the display based on your needs. Selecting a cell and clicking on a date in the calendar will insert that date into the selected cell. You can also select multiple cells and apply the same date to all of them simultaneously. The calendar will always highlight the current date and update to reflect the selected cell's date. If you prefer, you can disable this automatic update by unchecking the Show Selected Cell Values on Calendar option. This prevents the calendar from changing when you select a cell with a date. The date picker displays dates in a long format for better clarity, regardless of whether your cell is set to a short or long date. By default, setting a date through the calendar will apply a short date format, but the date picker itself will show the full date for reference. You can navigate through different months and years to select a date. If you have a custom date format in your spreadsheet, the date picker will respect it and won't alter your formatting. Unless you choose one of the predefined formats, short date, date, plus time, or time only. These formats align with your regional settings. In the US, that will be month, then day, then year. If you select date plus time, the picker will include a time component, usually in a 24-hour format. If you're in the US and have AM, PM already in a cell, the picker will retain that format when you make a selection. The date and time picker can be repositioned if needed. If an empty cell is selected, you can manually bring up the date picker in two ways. Click Show Date Picker in the Excel Navigator ribbon tab, or right-click the cell, go to Excel Navigator Date Picker in the context menu, and select Pop-up here. You can enable or disable the automatic date picker pop-up, if you don't want the date picker to appear automatically when selecting a cell with a date, uncheck Enable Auto Pop-up in the ribbon menu. Or right-click a cell, go to Excel Navigator Date Picker, and select Enable Auto Pop-up or Disable Auto Pop-up again. That's a quick overview of how the calendar and date picker work in Excel. I hope you find this tool helpful. If you have any feedback or suggestions, feel free to reach out via the support link at xlnavigator.com. Thank you for watching.